Hi everybody, my name is Hassan Salam. I was recently elected as the uh, chairman of the Egyptian Representative Committee of the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists in Egypt. Now, the question is, uh, can this COVID-19 cause problems for a pregnancy, for example, miscarriage or preterm labor? And the short answer is no. There is no evidence to show that women who are infected with the coronavirus have a high incidence of uh, miscarrying. Um, again, it is not. It has been checked in the uh, amniotic fluid. There is no. Um, it was not found in the amniotic fluid. Uh, the babies were checked after being delivered in, in newborns. What has been shown up till now that there is no vertical transmission. So there is no transmission between the mother and the fetus through the placenta. And in fact, there is another paper uh, coming from China on three placenta three percentages which have been uh, checked and again the w from women who ha were affected by coronavirus and had their babies uh, there was no uh, coronavirus in these three placentas. Regarding preterm labor there is a report of three women who had or actually four women there is the paper by Dr. Chen uh, which was published in The Lancet uh, in the March of uh, 2020 and uh, it's about nine, nine uh, pregnant ladies. These ladies were delivered by cesarean section and because they thought that delivering, vaginal delivery may be associated with an increased risk of spreading um, the, the, uh, the, the coronavirus and the, uh, the fluids of the body. So they decided to go for a cesarean section, these nine women. Uh, of these nine women, there were three who, uh, who had uh, preterm delivery, but it is not clear whether they had preterm delivery because the doctor himself decided to, to, to deliver early or because of other uh, obstetrical reasons. But uh, what is uh, clear from this report is that coronavirus does not uh, produce preterm delivery. So in short, there is no increased risk on the pregnant woman who goes into labor uh, uh, due to the coronavirus. Another question is, uh, can the COVID virus, can the coronavirus be passed from a pregnant woman to the fetus or newborn? And um, uh, the paper of uh, Dr. Chen and his colleagues, which was published on the Lancet in March of 2020, shows clearly that uh, the COVID virus is not transmitted from uh, the pregnant woman to her fetus. There is no uh, vertical transmission because the fetuses were checked in these nine women. And there's another report actually, which was published in another, in a Chinese uh, journal of uh, perinatal medicine. And again, another nine uh, women, and it has not been passed by the feet uh, fr from the mother to the fetus. Uh, again, the newborn uh, should not be affected as long as he's away from his mother. What is also has been checked is that the virus has not been found in the milk of the mother, of the lactating woman. So she may have coronavirus, but this virus is not, uh, um, does not appear in her milk. Therefore, she can uh, breastfeed her, uh, her, her baby. Uh, what has been shown, the Chinese wanted these women uh, to lactate their children. Maybe they can collect the, the, the milk and then give them uh, by pump and then uh, uh, give them the milk to the babies. Uh, for fear of infecting uh, the babies. Now, the position of the Royal College is a little bit different. The Royal College thinks that these 14 days of separation between mother and baby uh, may affect the bonding, and uh, it's not good for bonding, and it's not good, and the lactation itself, of course, is, is something good. So the Royal College um, uh, suggests that maybe breastfeeding can be allowed as long as the woman is protecting herself and her baby from uh, secretions from her uh, mouth so that she, uh, she wears a mask and then she can uh, wear uh, gown, uh, uh, gloves and so on so that uh, she take, can take care of the, of, of the baby. But these are the two uh, different positions between China and our culture. Mm -hmm.